everyone, welcome to Minor Instance, episode 26, covering Major Crime, season 3, episode 7, Two Options. So this time we have the SOB coming around. That's a really unfortunate it name. It really is. But we had some really great characters this time around, and they slowly started to show us what a possible spin-off could be, and I was really interested in it. I might actually watch it if it happens. I know. We had Fritz back, of course, like he always is. Fritzy! We also had Malcolm Jamal Warner back as, as uh, Special Agent Cooper. We had Lori Holden as something. Commander McGinnis. Commander McGinnis, but she had a first name and I certainly don't remember it. But she was amazing. Amanda, but... She was really, really good. I loved that character. Mm -hmm. This episode, we have these two old people who they find murdered. The SWAT team goes in, finds them murdered on their floor. And they find that the two grandkids were there and somebody also stole the grandkids and their daughter. And then we find out that they were actually in witness protection program and that they were hiding from the two older people's son who was embezzling money and was like in jail for six years but recently got out. Of course it's that dude who took them Obviously. and killed the woman's fiance and stuffed him in the trunk of his car. Then the SWAT, everybody works together in order to recover the kids and the dude's wife. daughter, yeah, sister, brother, cousin, son's mother. Mm -hmm. We also had a new character this time around. I don't remember her name. They kept calling her. Well, I don't remember her first name, but her last name was Lynn. Well, she worked for the AG's office, the Attorney General's office, and she was like, "You already had two cop. You had one cop who." And she pointed Provenza, who, who killed somebody who they're getting ready to take into custody. And then you had Sanchez has, had his gun taken. Like, all this stuff. And she's like, you don't want another one to happen. It'll be too close. And we're sitting there going, I hate you. On the personal side, we had Rusty giving a paper to Sharon to sign for 20 hours of service. But she was like, yeah, but the date on here. When did you do like, this? this certain day and she made she's making him do another 20 hours of service after all he's done for it them. Wasn't, it wasn't in, in the, the time frame. frame. She said once you do it then I'll sign it. So she has him taking all the pictures off the board that like we saw last episode of Alice Herrera and all these other young girls who have gone missing. Oh we also had Sanchez ended up being wounded. He got shot again. He got shot again. <laughs> He didn't even know he was shot until he saw his blood dripping down onto this guy's car while they were trying and to arrest him. And then he passed him. out. And he passes out. That poor guy. <laughs> really, though. Did he get a break? No breaks for Sanchez at all, ever. So what did we like about this episode? I was going to say everything. This episode was so awesome. It was so outrageously interesting. I like, didn't want it to end. It was so awesome. Like, I would have been happy if it was a two-parter. I would have been too. And if those two parters were back-to-back -back and we got two hours and we tried to sit and just yes. the Just say. Like, like, the case was on point. The personal front was there, but it wasn't more than the case point. All the characters had an equal part in the episode. Yeah, that I think was the, the biggest. The guest stars were phenomenal. They really were. But that, everybody having an equal part, I think was the best part of this episode. Yes. Because usually, and they were all like working together. Right, because usually when you have them focus on one particular issue or one particular character, everybody else gets neglected. And this one, everyone got equal screen time. Everyone had a part in this. Mm -hmm. That part with Fritz at the end with that girl, with the little girl cuddling her. I know, her. it was so sweet. Like, Fritzy, you need some kids, babe. <laughs> Go talk to Brenda. We saw a very paternal side to Fritz this episode, and yes. I thought it was interesting because he really took interest in that little girl. Yeah, he brought up Brenda saying that she got offered a job in mm -hmm. Washington, D.C. Yeah. And he was thinking of following her there. Yeah, it was nice for them to cover on that with him, especially mm -hmm. in this particular case, as they were slowly unraveling each character. Not so much Cooper, because we don't really know much about him, but Fritz we found out a little bit more about. And Lori Holden's character we felt found out a lot about. Yeah, her character, she had a husband and a daughter who died in a car accident a few years back. And they told that, like, right off the bat when because Lynn came and was like... This you, and her. Yeah, you're like, you, you would, wouldn't know because you, you don't have kids. You would know if you were a mother. And Raider, she's like, Raider's you like, wouldn't know if you had kids. And Raider's like, are you shitting me right now? She didn't she say that, but did she have kids to. anymore. That was what really good too. facts before there you was, say something to somebody? This episode was just so good. And we even have Dr. Joe there again, which he is such a good actor. Bill I love him. Bochku? Am I saying it right? I think I so. Probably Maybe. Not. Probably not. But he is such a good actor, and I really enjoy his character whenever he brings Dr. Joe to the screen. Uh, whether it be with Rusty, because it wasn't with Rusty this time. Mm -hmm. It was with the two kids who were abducted. And he helped with how to like figure out with the people that were 
suspect the people yeah. were the murders and the kidnapping. Yeah, they asked him his opinion. Plot line and the care, every just, it was beautiful. Dislikes. There aren't any. I'm just gonna say that woman, the woman who worked for the 80s, uh, the Lynn. Attorney AG's General, office, yeah. and Taylor is always annoying, so that's a given at this point. Right, and I wish, because during the closer, like towards the final few seasons, he was great. He was funny. He was helpful. There wasn't any bad thing we could say about Taylor. And now all of a sudden he's like this whiny, superior... Like, that's what he was in the beginning of The Closer, but he's come a long way as a character for them to re resort back to it. I just don't like that. I don't like his constant concern about going in, going in front of the media. That's just how he is. He's a media whore. I know he is, and it's so annoying. It's like, so outrageously annoying. Shut up. Like, Rainer you're the knows chief. what she's talking about. Like Right. But you're the chief. Act like it. Instead of being this, like, Whiny little I'm better than you, let's go talk to the TV. Egotistical, arrogant... And like, no, you're probably one of the worst cops here. So, just saying. You didn't get to where you are because you're good at your job. You got there because you're friends with Pope. My favorite part when he, gave them, when he gave them like 20 minutes and he goes in the office and he <laughs> says something and Raider's like, you gave me 20 minutes, I still have five minutes. Raider lives by her watch. Mm -hmm. She's okay, gonna I'm make sure watches. everything is done in the time she's allotted. I just really wish they would they would fix that character to how he was before. Like, we like that funny aspect of him in those final few uh, seasons. No, he's like Lord of the Douchebags. For real? Yeah, the, the new, the AG's office girl was a bitch. Yeah, I can go jump in that volcano with Emma Rios. <laughs> like, if that's gonna be the new foil, I'm so not interested. I want Emma Rios back I'd rather if have Rios that's who back. they're gonna have. Nadine, we miss you a lot. We need you. Uh, now. We need you now. We need to hate Emma. Yes. <laughs> Although she was starting to get really likable towards the end. Yes, so we'll was. take you back because of that. Yes. And because we like you a lot. What are we writing it? I'm giving it a 10. Yes. I'll give it a 10 too. Because the plot was there. The personal side wasn't too much dwelling on it. it was, but yeah, it, it was okay. the episode. Right, exactly. But it, usually we complain about the lack of personal with Raider and uh But it was good. Him. But it was fine this episode. Because the crime part of it was phenomenal. Right, and we were slowly learning about the other characters, especially Laurie Holden's character. Yes. And that was A-OK -okay fine with us. She was fantastic. I just, I can't say enough about that character. She was amazing. Yeah, and if this actually becomes a spinoff, I might we'll actually watch it. Watch it. <laughs> what are we predicting for next week? We saw Clarity! We saw a little bit of the, uh... Who was it? Luke Perry? Luke Perry's there. Oh my god, I can't wait. I love him. <laughs> <laughs> it was even like the little snippet that we saw of next week's promo. Hilarious! Oh, I expect only good things. I'm on my Which block. means we get disappointed. Um, no. I just hope it's not like that episode last season with all of the people in it. For real! <laughs> that was the ninth episode of last season. Just saying I haven't forgiven them for it. No! It had We had such high hopes for it. And for the outtakes that would have been going with it. But did we get that either? No. No! I'm still bitter about the no outtakes. Even really if you guys, people. like, like give them to us now on your website or something. Next episode, we have Tao's, like, the show. This episode, yeah. Because I think that's what Luke Perry's excited about, because he's a fan of the show that Tao works for. Yes. Um, I'm on the board! I'm on the board! I'm so excited. Died. I like Luke Perry anyway, because he's a funny, funny guy, and he doesn't take himself seriously, which is, I think, why I like funny, him. Funny, guy. funny guy. Funny, funny guy. Our favorite response to the question of the episode for last episode of Minor Incidents goes to Yancey. We said that name wrong. I know, honey. I'm so sorry. Yancey. 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 Can we say Yancey even if it is Yancey? Because Yancey, Yancey is hilarious. It goes to you <laughs> because we liked your comment a lot. And your name's Yancey. And your name's Yancey. Well, the question last week you was, do you think Jack will sign the divorce or do you think he'll sign the adoption even though Raider already said she's going to divorce him? Oh, we forgot about that part. Rusty told Sharon it was okay for her to adopt him. If she still wanted to. Yeah. She got a little wibbly. She did. Because he said if he ever goes missing, he'd want someone to come looking for him. And he, she said, oh, I would find you. <laughs> like, there was no I would look for there. you, and I would find you. Oh, I love them. What do you th who, What do you think he would sign? We'll answer it ourselves, too, while we do this. Um, I want him to sign the divorce papers. But really? I know he probably won't because... The whole money thing. Because of the whole money thing. But I have a feeling he might sign the adoption papers. But... We'll probably Sharon won't find out until the, the ninth episode, right. anyway. Yeah. Because he's definitely going to tell the kids, because he's... Mine is, I think he would sign the adoption before he signed the divorce. Yeah, because he knows that Sharon 
would make sure he would didn't go get after anything because yeah. she has a case against him. Don't mm-hmm. fight a cop. No, don't Especially fight Sharon don't... Raider. No, she will mess you up. Our question of the episode this week is: Would you watch a show if it was a spinoff with Laurie Holden and John Tenney and Malcolm Jamal Warner? Would you watch that show? Is that yes. something that would interest you? It interests us. Yes. Interests. It interests us. Interests. Interests. There's your question. You go ahead and answer it. Take it. Take it. Take it. We know you want it. Got it. Next week we have Major Crimes season three, episode eight, entitled. Cutting loops. Kind of excited about it. Can't wait to find out. Because we know about. some about it, but we don't know enough about it. So no, I want to. We know Luke Perry. That's about Luke it. Luke Perry, and Take that's enough for me. Himself. I'm on a board. Yes. Yes. That's. I it. want that to be. That would be us if we ever visited set, and they were like, "Hey, you guys want to be dead bodies?" We'd be like, "I want a slab." Exactly. <laughs> I'm on a slab. Taking selfies. You can't move. I don't care. Selfies. <laughs> Saying it's something we could we would do for you guys. You wouldn't even have to pay us. No. I wouldn't. I don't even require any money. No, just get us out there. Yes, yes. As long as it's not Delaware, we're okay. All right. We don't even have a homicide department here. Just saying. We don't. Fact: Our city does not have a homicide department. Because we're tell. winners, and we're the most dangerous city in the nation. Maybe that's why, because we don't have a homicide unit. And you can literally go and kill anyone you want, and it's not going to be investigated. And you can go get, like, hamburgers afterwards. Pretty much. Yeah. Well, I only did it four or five times. times. Yeah. We're talking about real life, not video games. I was talking about real life. Every week. Yeah, but I don't do it on purpose. No, you don't. Exactly. But finally, the seventh episode into the third season, you get it right on the first try. <laughs> Yay! I'm proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> She's never proud of me, ever. <laughs> yeah, right. Brenda's eggs are all old and dried up that, right now. You don't know her life? Damn. She's too busy raising her cats and killing them. It's true. <laughs> what if they have him like, no, I guess the mom's still there, so he mom's wouldn't be able to alive. adopt her. Can we kill the mom off? No! Why? That's rude. So that he can adopt the little girl and no. they can live happy day ever after. And yeah, but she'd have to be a child to Brenda, too. Brenda can't take care of a cat. Okay, but she'd be fine. No. <laughs> they redid the TNT. Have you gone on TNT website lately? Yeah. It sucks. Kind of bullshit. Because they used to have a whole beautiful, like, like layout like for out. all it- the characters and, like, blogs and this I tried and to get on it a couple of weeks ago. And it's just the I, show. I couldn't figure anything out. It sucks. It's just the show. It doesn't have anything about the characters anymore. You could just watch the show on there. That poor guy. He got more holes than Swiss cheese. Really? I, I want a whole episode where, like, Sharon and Rusty go and do something. Because they did it before on The Closer with Fritz and Brenda, and I would like that. See? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs>